Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vigil Wildmount Chronicles. I'm hoping that this audio is working. Um, before we get into anything, hopefully we're doing announcements and people can hear them. <laughs> um, our first announcement is thanks Little Dragon Corp and Cardboard Castle Games for sponsoring us. Little Dragon Corp is a Canadian dice company with all kinds of cool tabletop gear. You can check out their Twitter at Little Dragon Co. 1 to stay updated on, on their products. And when you go to their website, use the code PROBONUS at checkout and you'll get 10% off of your order. And also, they're like doing a Kickstarter right now and they're like cool like UV dice and they like glow and so you should definitely check that out and support them uh, cardboard castle games is a lovely game store local to the evans georgia area so if you're in evans georgia go check them out if you're not in evans georgia go check them out online and if you are also like in evans georgia and you check them out and you say pro proficiency bonus sent you they might also give you 10 percent off so do that thanks sponsors um also, don't forget to check out our other games. The schedule- Don't laugh at me! The schedule- <laughs> The schedule is posted below the Twitch video feed, or you can do exclamation point schedule in the Twitch chat to see it. The point is, we stream every night here at Propo. We have games for the major published 5e modules. We have homebrew 5e games. Some of our games are systems other than 5e entirely, so we've got stuff up your alley, so please support our uh, fellow Probo fam. Also, we have a community discord with public channels, so please come and check that out and just like hang out with us. Um, also, just want to give a thank you to Adrian Von Ziegler for some of the music that we use in the background here on Wednesdays, even though the murder of GroovyBot and RhythmBot had made that a little harder, we're still trying! So thanks, Adrian Von Ziegler, for your awesome content usage rules for small streams like ours. Um, if you're watching this, please check out his YouTube and support him on Patreon if you're able to. Um, uh, is it- Christy, is it Star Wars this week? Is it Mystic Hour this week? Is there anything you have to say for that? Uh, is it Mystic Hour tomorrow? It's supposed to be Star Wars. However, I think we're taking this Thursday oh. off currently. That might change. Right. Um, so just stay tuned. If we're live tomorrow, then, you know, that means we're playing Star Wars, probably. Unless it's yeah. Christy's streaming. <laughs> You can join us on our Discord, and we'll, we'll let you guys know if we're doing Star Wars tomorrow. It's kind of up in the air. We think it could be canceled, but not. If not, I'll be streaming. No, I won't be streaming anything because I don't have a laptop. So... Right? Yeah. No. <laughs> May have to just. We might relax. just Star Wars tomorrow. We might have a relaxed day. We'll see. Everyone might have Stay to like read books and and get off of the internet for a we little might bit. Tell <laughs> stories by the campfire. When I was a kid, I walked 15 miles to school barefoot in the snow uphill both ways. Oh. <laughs> and I drank from the hose and I liked it. <laughs> I really did. It was really crisp. Yeah, so that's the... <laughs> not kill everyone. That's it. That is anyone so, have any other announcements? <laughs> yes, uh... One more announcement. Uh, we are playing in the world created by Matthew Mercer and the people at Crow Parole. Uh, we are not affiliated with them at all, but we are uh, playing in their world and we thank them for allowing us to do that. So, yes. Is there any, any other announcements or are we just ready to jump back into a re It's been a while since we played this. Uh, this game, so. I know, um, it has been a minute. Franco, let's jump into it. <laughs> Does someone want to do a recap, or would you like me to do one? Since we've been gone for so long. Well, let's see how much I wrote just now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be a blank page with cat boys? <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a blank page a few minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> um the party had dealt with um, Reksha's adopted mother, Alana, and foiled her supposed plot that was involving the blood diamonds and collecting a lot of blood from people in Oath. Um, the party, after 
stopping this ritual that seemed to be taking place and hopefully destroying the ritual site, took Lady Ravenosa's remains as well as Ilana's back uh, through the rivers of the jungle uh, to Oath proper, where we then um, handed over these bodies and all of the information on the events that took place to the Marquis. Um, the Marquis was like, I'll pay you in the morning. And we were like, you will pay us now. Um, we collected our payment for this and then discussed a little bit about whether it was time to go back to Port Zune. But the party decided that perhaps it would be best to pay back a little bit more to our elderly host uh, as we still had some, uh, I believe it was fruit. It was, a, it was a special fruit from a tree that she needed to extract oils from to be uh, able to create... Willow uh, shade. Willow shade. <clears throat> we had to collect some willow shade uh, for her. We didn't have to. We wanted to, though. Um, and we did so without having to invoke the ire of an entire family and or colony of basilisks, which was great. Uh, we brought that back to her. She was very thankful. And then the party began to make plans for going back to Port Zune, taking note of the fact that Reksha was most definitely not doing too well after the encounter with his mother. We began to make the journey back to Phalens that we may secure a ship back to Port Zune, but our camp was interrupted by the cries of a tabaxi whom seemed to be being pursued by men in the night. And that's where we left it off. Yes. Now, if I remember correctly, so you can, oh, well, first of all, you can have your inspiration. Thank you, Derek. Yes. Um, if I remember correctly, everybody's awake currently, except for Tremaine. <laughs> Tremaine is still asleep in the tent. <laughs> um, but as you all, everybody was convening around a, uh, the campfire to have a small talk before pe people's shifts change. You start to hear a individual's screams for help as you see a tabaxi, shorter tabaxi uh, individual. If you were, if you were to just think about like uh, height wise, you would probably think he's a teenager, but you're not necessarily sure um, age range of a tabaxi, but about the height of like probably five foot or so and them running towards you with a bow that is currently you can see that the string from it is cut with two individuals giving chase behind him and um, you said that they had torches they and, had torches in one hand yeah and swords and or like swords weapons? yeah yeah they had swords or uh some kind of melee weapon in their off in their main hand uh, oh dear this is <laughs> I'm going to get Tremaine. <laughs> I'm because, picking uh, up my bow and knocking an arrow. Okay. I'm picking up my quarter staff and lighting my hands and lighting the staff. So he's running towards a torch. Yeah. Uh, and and re and the only reason you see these individuals is because of the torch light coming from the people. Uh, and they're a good distance out still. And it seems like they have noticed a campfire up ahead and seem to have started to slow down their chase as this individual is still running towards you all, the tabaxi. But the two individuals behind him have started to slow down. Did slow down, like, with the it? intention of stopping? Yes. They, they, it seemed, well, it's kind of hard to tell, but they mm. seem to be not moving as fast as they were before okay. noticing your campfire. I'm Anybody going... want to do anything? You you went to wake up Tremaine. Yeah, I go into Tremaine's tent and I just sort of jo I jostle her and then I like move back in case she has sort of like a reactive swing. Uh -huh. Tremaine, there's I think there's some sort of situation going on. Everyone's awake. I plap on your face. No, no, no. Don't that. do it. Okay, okay, I can't get my armor on that fast, but I can use my sword right away! And I get up. 
and I don't have my armor on because that would take like 10 minutes. Uh, this individual keeps running. Did You said you were knocking an arrow. Did you want to uh, fire at them? Um, no, not yet. Okay. How about how far away are they from our little friend? Your best guess from, okay, from the tabaxi? Mm -hmm. They're probably at this point starting to fall behind probably 40, now 50. It's just how they're starting to okay. slow down, like I said. Okay. So, um, not they're originally yet, only but, like 20 feet behind. But I'm going to hold an action to shoot a, a warning arrow. Okay. So not necessarily to hurt them, but maybe like at their feet. Um, okay. if they get within 20 feet of him. Okay. Uh, eventually they actually just stop moving as this tabaxi runs up and actually joins you at this camp and like does like that skidding stop where and like puts up his hands and uh, can, can you help me? They're, they're, they're trying to rob me. And he points back to the people. Slow and down. They, they, they're, they, attacked me during the night at my camp and they were trying to take my stuff and he turns around and sees that they're not no longer giving chase and uh can I huh can I inside check this kid sure as he's closer does it does this look like a young adult or a teenager he, he definitely looks younger uh you can't really tell exactly the age but he definitely looks younger in the years. Not necessarily a kid, but you know. All right, all right. Just keep, just, we're going to figure this out. Just keep your hands where we can see them. We're going to figure it out, okay? Calm down. And as you're saying that, he turns back around to the, the two individuals that were chasing him. What? You don't want to fight me now that I have people? Oh. In <laughs> this cocky motherfucker. <laughs> Um, what was your insight check? Only a 16. I rolled below a 10. It's it's dark, and it's... I mean, from the tone of his voice, he sounds sincere. So, you don't sense any, um... Um... Or anything. Also, I'm lagging. I froze again, so hopefully you all heard me say all that stuff. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Should I go talk uh... to him? Oh, I'm going to take a look back at my party just to, like to see if they protest, but I'm going to start taking um, some steps towards his attackers. That's what I was thinking of doing, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk up will, back at... Yeah, if you start walking up towards the attackers, Rexha will join you just so you're not like, alone. I'm keeping my bow down. The, the arrow's knocked, but I'm keeping it pointed at the ground. Um... Hopefully, as a show that I'm not like immediately going to shoot them. If, yeah. if you guys are all going to move up, I'll stay with the kid. Okay. So that he doesn't do oh, something. I, I was pretty much doing what my brother was doing, but I was moving so I'm in front of the kid, like as like a wall with the flaming quarter yeah. staff. So they have to get through me because I can. Uh, as what? as you all are starting to move forward, this this uh individual, this new tabaxi, that's standing in your camp is starting to give off some very rude gestures towards these individuals. Oh my uh, <laughs> Can I smack his hand? Huh? Can I just smack his hand down? Yeah, Becca sure. was going to turn around and be like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what? You are on thin ice still. We do not know any of you people. We can kick that ass. We're bandits. We should stop. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... But as, as you all start walking towards these two individuals, you see them talking to themselves, and then they start, they turn around and start running in the opposite direction, seeing they didn't want any... Oh, I'm out. I'm running after them. Okay. I'm sure. about to yell out and be like, we just want to talk, okay? <laughs> I want to okay, go so fuck Tremaine's, these people up. Tremaine is running after them, okay. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do here, what's your what's your movement speed? You're 30, 30, you're 30 right? Feet. Also, okay. I will action surge if I need to yeah. be dashing. I don't they're, even uh, care. They're about, because uh, they were, Oops. yeah, so they're about, I want to say, probably 80 feet away from you at this point uh, as they turn around and start running away from you. Uh, 
So. I'm checking really quick what the range on Hunter's Mark is. Okay. I, yeah. Go ahead. Because um, I'd like to do is that. Everybody, so, range. Doomka and Zach are staying with the kid camp. Reksha, are you following Tremaine or are you. Yeah. Reksha has an idea. Like, if we really want to catch these people, Reksha has, like, an idea of what he could do, but I'm still holding on to it. Okay. Um. Hunter's Mark is 90 feet, so I'm sure. gonna yeah, just Hunter's can... Mark one of them, just with the intention okay. of making them easier to track if needed. Sure. So you Hunter's Mark one of them, and at this point, I think we'll roll initiative. I don't have a battle map for this or anything, so this is just gonna be theater, theater of the mind, but you just think that you're like in an open field and uh, it's kind of hilly in some spots. There's a there's a occasional a few trees, but not a whole bunch since you're out of the oath moors. Can you remind uh, me of some extra so. context here, Derek, real quick? Sure, sure. Of course. Did these individuals run from the direction that we had come back in the direction of oath? No. Okay. They, so this was like they were running. Yeah, they were running in from the direction of uh, west. So okay. basically, as yeah, they, basically they were coming around the mountain bend. Yeah, we were but traveling course, not, north south, yeah. and they came from came the west. Side. Yeah, okay, they were so we from wouldn't the west have side. passed this kid's no. supposed camp. Okay, no, thank you. No problem. All right, so um, I am frozen again, so I cannot hear anybody talking. Pee pee poo poo. Hopefully, this stops. <clears throat> Why it's doing this? Hello, can you hear us, Derek? Derek, can you hear me? <laughs> All right. I'm unfrozen. Hi. Hello. Uh, okay. So I cannot hear you all when I freeze, but you all can apparently still hear me. So. Yes. Okay. Um, initiatives. Beckett. What was yours? Oh, I don't I'm know why again. I just didn't roll um okay. that's a good question because uh, you were like i want to go first so uh, my initiative is six six okay uh, <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> reksha and two. Jermaine. two two 17 17 okay so 17 six and two uh doom and zach do you want to roll initiative since you're staying behind I, or i did roll okay what'd you roll I Six. rolled a 13. 13? Zach? 13. I'm frozen again. I can't oh hear Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Can you oh. hear me? Oh. 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 No, I think he's just, he's just resetting. Can you hear me? Yeah, it cut off when you were saying the number that you rolled, but now I can hear you. 16? 16? 16? Hi, Derek. Hello. 16. Oh, what, it, I, it, we were in call all day today, and, well, not all day, but I didn't have any of those issues, and now it. We, or whatever. Okay, thirteen for doing the. Zach, you what? Sixteen. Thank you. All right, and I am sorry about this. I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, okay, so they are up first. Seeing how you all are giving chase, uh, they keep running away from you. They move another thirty feet away from you, so they're. What about uh, I said eighty, so they're now one hundred and ten feet away from you all. Um, one of them turns around, uh, drops his torch, and pulls out a longbow, and oh. is going to a fire at the person that is closest, which would probably be Tremaine. I want to assume since Tremaine was the one that they were charging first. Um, so they are going to make their two attacks with their longbow. At oh, and my AC is poo poo because I'm not armored. Well, uh, it's okay. I have a million hit points. I don't think a eight will hit you. No. The, the other one was uh, an 18. Yeah. So, um, and you take uh, math, uh, eight points of piercing damage as they quickly fire off two arrows at you, and one hits the ground. Um, in front of you, but another one catches you, like, scratches your shoulder, kind of, like, does, gives a little scratch to you. Um, the other one 
is going to turn around and what is everybody's passive perceptions that are you all are that are chasing? Eight, sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen, eight, and what was your second? Sixteen. Sixteen. Um you hear the other one that didn't fire say, What are you doing? We need to get out of here. We cannot handle all of these people. And the other the other guy says, Fine, fine, and they continue. The other one runs another sixty or another thirty feet ahead of him because he dashed. So he's a little bit farther than the other person. So it is now uh seventeen was Tremaine, right? Yes. Tremaine, it is now your turn. Um I will take my thirty feet of movement towards them. Mm-hmm. And then I will put you down to eighty. Then I will run I will dash with my action. Okay. It's down to fifty. Um Man, I need to get some javelins, y'all. <laughs> um, I really want to throw my sword. It's not a good idea. Um, I have pasted you before you went. And then I, um, you know what? I w- I'll, I will um, action surge, and I will use my extra surged action to to dash, dash again. again yeah okay. so i'm just sure, like a, sure. a freight train running at them <laughs> and so i'm just like right, so you're within 20 feet now yeah i mean that's as far as i can get but i'm like it wasn't suspicious until you started running and now i'm gonna hit you <laughs> <laughs> the, the guy that you actually you. the guy that you get within 20 feet of as as uh you're running up towards him, you hear him say, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and you just like sprint forward towards this individual. He's like, "Oh god!" Is that the one that's Chatter? Yeah, the one. That's oh. Like, oh no! <laughs> Mistakes are made. Um, but you do anything else? I think you have a bonus action. That I don't know if you have anything to do with. Your I I can't really um. <clears throat> not my bonus action. Like I can. I have like maneuvers and and. Okay. St- I don't think I can. Yeah, they're not anything that are gonna help me here, unless I were to throw my sword. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Could I bring weapon master attack with my sword if it's thrown? <laughs> can't uh, do that. Yeah, that would take an action, unfortunately. I don't think you can do yeah. that with a bonus action. No, I can't. I couldn't do any. Yeah, I'm good. That's okay. my turn. I'm just running at him. I'm just Usain Bol- gotcha. bolting towards these men. Um, so that would be Zach and Doomka. You two would be up next. Did you all want to do anything? Or I you mean, staying with the, with the fact. See, pull out a long bow. I feel like Zach be like, "All right, that's it," and I would also <laughs> start running towards. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you're it. you're a little bit farther away though compared. Cause you were about also, thirty feet uh, behind them. I have so, a speed of five. So I dash ninety. Okay. And then I do step of the wind. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, okay, yeah, so... it's like 100 and... It's 135? Yeah. Right? 135 yeah. feet? Yeah. Um, I think that, I think I that would... Yeah, if they were 80 feet from us, and then they went yeah. 110, and then Zach was 30 feet back, that means he's for closer than I am. He's like... Yeah. I think he's like 5 or 10 <laughs> feet away from them now. Yeah, yeah, you're... From the, from the guy that stood back and shot a bow, uh, you're probably within... 10 feet of this individual now after you used your action and bonus action to dash and this guy is like looks so shocked at how fast you all moved to caught up with he's like oh no <laughs> <laughs> like the terror on his face is like <laughs> uh, I, as a free action i'll say um if you keep running it'll be worse because i can keep up with you you better stop and turn you better um, stop. So, Dunka, did you want to do anything? Because Zach just took off. I, I now I could haste myself and I think get 180 feet here, but I'm not going to. I see all of my friends scattered to the winds, and I turn back to the tabaxi and I go. So, what is your name again? You didn't say. Did you me? start talking. Uh, They'll start hitting. What? Well. I mean, shouldn't we do this after this this whole conflict is over? Oh, I'm or... here. 
Oh, okay. You wouldn't happen to have another bow, would you? I could help. <laughs> My mine is kind of broken. They he shows the they they cut my bowstring. She's very rude of them. I just I just wave around Casimir and then I stick the blade in the dirt and I lean on the pommel and I go, We're gonna use our words, so uh well, that is well, not you, you, could, you can you can call me Tusk. That's Okay. Well, Tusk, we're gonna have questions for everybody, but let's just see how this goes. Uh, and as y'all are having this conversation, uh, Beckett, it is now your turn. Um, well, I'm going to use my free action to call out, don't kill them! <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, how far away are they from me? Uh, one is 80, and one is, uh, 30 feet plus that, so, uh, 110. Okay, I... No, wait. Yes, that is correct. Would it be possible for me with my longbow to intentionally, like, aim for their legs so that it, like, stops them or slows them down? We'll say if you roll, if you get a natural 20, I will say sure that you will be going for their legs. So if you were to, like, accidentally kill them or, like, take them down to zero, this would be non-lethal. Yeah. But if, if you, I will say if you roll a natural 20, yes, that will work. Because okay. since there's no, unfortunately, there's I no, have, like, called mechanics, ex unless you're, like, uh, the gunslinger. I have an inspiration, so. and I don't know where it's okay. from, but I will give okay. this to Beck for this, because that would okay. be so cool if, like, multiple people <laughs> just, like, Olympic, like, sprinter dash at these people, and then an arrow comes out and pins them. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, I'll try. So you have advantage then. I mean, and also, I think there's also, like, Grasping Arrow or something. Like, there's a spell that can do that, too, or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to use that inspiration. Okay, come on. Actually, I'm going to use a different die. It wasn't a nat 20, but it was a 19 plus 6. Oh, that was so close. So go ahead and roll damage for me. <laughs> Six. Six points of damage, okay. Mm -hmm. They are still alive. Uh, but you you hear them uh, yell out in pain. Who the oh, hell wait. shoots someone in their knee? <laughs> I hunters marked him. I used to be an adventurer like you. Yep. Until I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> That's an additional two points of damage. Okay, with so, so what was that, eight, right? Yeah. Total? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, And then I will move my movement closer. Gotcha. Alright. So, Reksha, it is now your turn. Um, so Guy Farthest is about 110 feet away from Reksha, right? Correct. Uh, then Reksha will move forward 30 feet uh, and he'll call out to the guy moving farthest and and say uh, I'll give you a chance to come back like a nice boy uh, or else I might have to act and he's going to hold his action for if the person moves five more feet away okay so is that so you're holding your action to cast a spell correct yeah okay i'm holding my action to cast a spell for if they move five more feet away from reksha okay um it's now their turn and the individual you were saying you were yelling that towards the guy that was so that was really far away right the far uh -huh. away uh yep. he hears you say this and as he's still running, because he's not going to stop, uh, uh -huh. he yells out, No, fuck you! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can go ahead and cast your spell on him, because yeah, he's going to so keep running. He is still in, he should still be in range, because I moved up 30 more feet before I did this. I'm going to cast Wall of Fire around him, 
uh, basically just make a dome. I'm setting it so the outside is the one that has the heat aura, so he's not being cooked alive in there. Okay. Uh, but he basically goes, you made your bed, lie in it, and just slams the ground with the maul, and, like, this line of blue flames goes around him and then bursts up. <laughs> And I'll turn towards okay. the other one, and I'll say, hopefully he makes the right decision and ch sits still. Uh, the other one, basically, uh, he was going to turn around and run, sees this giant wall of fire up here. <laughs> uh, Zach definitely hears this, probably uh, Tremaine also. He kind of, like, says underneath, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Lion, motherfucker! <laughs> Uh, yeah. But, that, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> um, hmm. So the, the guy that's stuck in the fire. Please don't try to run through the fire. I'm begging you. <laughs> you, s okay, so you, can, you can't see through the fire, right? Because it's like a, it blocks off vision. Yeah, I blocked off vision. Okay. Um, you hear, especially Zach, you hear what sounds like water hitting the ground. And then an individual yelling out in pain. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage for your water <laughs> wall. Did he try to cover himself in water? And yes. Run? <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, no. He's literally about to just like boil his own flesh. <laughs> oh God, no! That's nineteen fire damage. And as he as he does this, Rex should just kind of. <laughs> oh buddy. I will be right back again. I'm gonna try and close out my Discord again. Okay. <laughs> Rip. He's probably dead. These guys are not very yeah. Well, you know, if anyone was, smart. like, if anyone was hungry, we're about to have, like, <laughs> boiled man flesh. <laughs> what do you smell? Man flesh. Man flesh. Man flesh. Man flesh. Man flesh. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> oh my God. Two campaigns. Uh, uh, it was 19 fire damage. Okay. 19 fire damage. She's just writing the word dead in all uh, capitals on a notepad. So, I'm frozen again, but you all can still hear me. Uh, this individual, you all hear him scream out in pain as uh, what you could assume is him jumping through this wall of fire. And. Stupid enough to do that. Uh. <laughs> Zach and Tremaine, and then Becky, you're not you're not close enough, but you all hear the sound of something hitting the ground <laughs> on the other side of the wall. Like if these are just if these are just right. dudes, like who who is stupid enough to try to dive through fire? I can't. I, anyway, look if he's like Rexha does not feel bad if this guy died because who does that? <laughs> No, because he was next to the person that was 30 yeah, feet behind I... the first, that guy that got yeah. the fire behind, yeah. Yeah, me and um, the guy, this guy was 30 feet ahead of us that yeah. just dummied out. <laughs> um, this other, the other individual turns around after hearing his friend scream out in pain and then <laughs> hearing something hit the ground, which you could assume is his body. Uh, he turns around, drops his bow, and puts his hands up, and he, and he starts to talk. But then you start to see that uh, his, like, eyes and mouth start to just bleed. And he kind of, like, crumbles over and falls to the ground. What? Hello? <laughs> uh, Zach, Tremaine, and Beckett, you all can make perception checks for me. Oh my god. 
Oh, oh, oh no. Do they have... Oh, no. Um, perception? Yeah. I got this. It's a four. Nice. <laughs> 24. Uh, 23. 23 and 24? Yeah. And four. And yeah. F- and four. Yeah, I'm sorry. Of course. <laughs> oh. If initiative so. is ended, I'm still moving up to be with them. Yeah, uh, currently initiative is going to be ending. Okay. Um, currently? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you all, uh... I mean, isn't, I just... isn't every stint of non-combat just a break from initiative? True, yeah, you know? Uh, but as you all uh, see this individual just, like, start to bleed from his, his like, basically, like, nose, mouth, ears... Uh, eyes, everything, like, just starts to, like, bleed, and he crumbles over and just falls over. And, uh, as soon as that happens, you all, like, look out, like, look around to see, like, what the hell, like, what, if someone did this, or what the heck just happened. Uh, unfortunately, in the darkness that's going on, even with the firewall going, you don't necessarily, you don't see anything else, anybody else in the distance that you know, could have done something to hurt this individual. Um, and in some aspects, maybe even the firewall is, like, hindering your vision a little bit. But drop. currently, you all are standing in this field. You say you dropped the firewall? Yeah. Okay. Uh, drop the firewall, and currently the only light sources now are the two torches that are laying next to each body. Um, and you all are standing well... in this open field... Beckett will catch up to the guy that died from we don't know yeah. the stigma uh, <laughs> yeah um, he's gonna crouch down over him I guess can I look over him and see if there's anything on his person that might scream magic like I don't know an amulet with like a rune on it or like maybe something Does tattooed ta- on his skin yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, um, and then yeah. also specifically medically, like looking to see if I can find a cause of death. Okay. All right. So first, uh, make an investigation check for me. Can I help with that? Because that's what sure. I wanted. Um, my investigation is a plus one. If you want to roll in with an, with advantage instead. No, do it because mine's a negative one. Because I'm a dumb boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, dirty twenty for the investigation. <laughs> Um, you don't find this, in, this individual just had basic leather armor, had a normal looking, uh, longbow, a few, he had a quiver on his, uh, on his back that had probably 20 arrows or so in it. Um, he had a, uh, long sword at his side, which what, which is what he was carrying when he had the torch out. Mm-hmm. Uh, you find a pouch of five gold on him. I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, I'll split it. Uh, there's there five of us. I'll split it up. Everybody gets a goal. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can just pocket it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, you also, you don't find any kind of jewelry or any amulet that you might have been looking for. Um, however, you do find a strange-looking tattoo that's on the back of his neck. Okay. That doesn't. It's. You've seen tattoos before. This is. It's almost difficult to call it a tattoo. Anyways, it's kind of like a almost like a brand with mixed with a tattoo, and it's as it is. Um, you get a look at it, but then it you see it actually starts to fade away. Like, hmm? what does What's it that? look like? Um, how to describe this? Might just be better if I draw it. <laughs> it's a giant heart. Yeah, it's a heart, but not not the actual like normal heart. It's an actual like uh, anatomically correct yeah, heart. Exact no. <laughs> 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 uh, it it looks like a almost like a dagger, but it's made out of like a kind of like a dragon thing. Okay. And 
if it's starting to fade away, can I mm -hmm. quick like pull an arrow out of my quiver and draw it in the dirt? Sure. Yeah, you could uh, easily do that. I don't have any like paper accessible immediately, but <laughs> I'll yeah, pull out can... book. You'll do what? I'll pull out my notebook for you. Okay. Um, when you eventually come up to me and uh, I will copy from what I've drawn in the dirt onto uh, a piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, and you said you wanted to check to see what... Cause of death, if I yeah. can find any. Go ahead and could make I, a medicine check. Could I assist with this one since Zach helped with the sure. magical rune thing? Sure. Uh, my medicine's plus three if you would rather make the roll. Um, my medicine's minus two, so I can okay. if you want. <laughs> uh, that one's not as great. Fourteen? Fourteen. It's, it's hard to tell. I mean, you can thank maybe yeah, blood loss. Um, also, I'm frozen. Uh, oh, no. So, like, us? blood loss. Um, okay, I'm back. Um, but yeah, I figured you can't I really tell if it, much. Yeah, you can't really tell if it was a natural cause. You can't tell if it's a magical cause, of course. Um, I mean, you can assume because of the strange brand tattoo that was on the back of his neck, but you know, it's up to you. So, so it, when Reksha, Tremaine, and I'm frozen again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Can you hear us? Oh. Derek. Everyone run again. <gasps> I don't know what that means. <laughs> the dance. The dance? I can't. What is it? That's this. I don't know. I don't know how to do any. Oh. That one. I'm sorry. What was that? Um, I was just saying that when everybody who is with me, Reksha, Tremaine, and Zach, eventually get up to me, I guess Zach's already technically with me, but I will show them the drawing of the brand slash tattoo. I'm assuming it's just like, it was like a brand that like they probably put some form of ink in while it was healing. Um, if that's the nature of it anyway, I will show it to them Frozen and ask. I think we could just take a small little break really yeah. fast. Yeah, you know try and what? Try get this situated. Fam. Uh, again, can't hear you. Yeah, but, so Derek doesn't... Uh, Derek can't hear us right really now. Annoying. We're gonna take a, a like, quickie little break. Um, Stick with us. We love you so much. You're all cute. BRB. BRB. Cool.
We're back. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Okay. I think I got it fixed. Let's hopefully it stays fixed. I am sorry about that. All right. Where were we? People just died. Tattoo. I Tattoo was of a showing, thing. Yeah, yeah. I, when everybody got up to me, I just wanted to give them a peek at it and just be like, hey, mm -hmm. does anybody know what this is? Yeah. And you were going to say what it looked like. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it's kind of like a, uh, I, it was like a dragon's tooth that was made into a like a dagger, curved, a curved dagger. Yeah, kind would of like I a have seen dagger. this before? Uh, make a history check. I know that's very unlikely with him, unless it has Probably, something directly yeah. to do with me. But <laughs> one, there's always a chance. No, nope. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yeah, you've never uh, with your upbringing, you've never seen a symbol like this before. Um. I mean, you've seen tons of dragon fangs before, or dragon oh, yeah. balls. So oh, yeah, that's why I was stuff, thinking but... that maybe I might have seen it before, but... Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> that's that's actually why you knew that it was a, from actually a dragon. So when they come up, so this is a dragon's fang. That's what mm -hmm. th this symbol is representing, at least I believe so. But I've never seen it, the symbol before. He had it tattooed on his, his neck. But it wasn't really a tattoo, it was kind of a brand with ink in it. And then when he died, as I came up to investigate, it started to disappear. And now, he gestures, it's gone. What the hell was that? Well, this became slightly more complicated than I thought it than we I... Sh Yeah, we should see if the other one... And has a brand similar. Yeah, I'll sorry, go... my cell phone's going off. I'll go over to the other body and pull him over to see if he has it on his neck. Uh, you walk over to this individual's oh, uh, he's... body, <laughs> and unfortunately, even if you like scrape off some of the charred marks, it would his be body is too much of too too much burn, too many burns to actually be able to tell if there was ever a tattoo yeah, on the back of his neck. Yeah, there's Rex. no idea. <laughs> He's just Yeah, Rexha walking up behind you will will be like I don't know why it's doing it again. Oof. Uh Rexha walking up behind you, Zach will be like, Well, at the very least I commend his bravery. Bravery or stupidity? You could say it was uh you could say one could be the other. Fair. I'll play with yourselves real fast every back. He's role he said role play among ourselves. <sighs> we should we should grab both of the bodies and bring them back to camp so that we can get Doomka's opinion as well. Yeah. I do have experience with dragons, but this is beyond my experience, so I don't know. Have fun. Starts walking back to camp. <laughs> I can get one. I'll pick up the one that I was investigating. Bring them back to camp. Right. That's what I heard. Yep. Alright, so you bring them back to camp. Doomka, you're still standing there with uh, Tusk. I'm frozen, motherfucker. Uh, hmm. You're back again, RP, with yourselves. He just started bleeding from every orifice in his body, and then he crunched over and died. He had this on the back of his neck, but it faded away. He'll show him the symbol. That is three sentences that have all been said to me. Um, I cannot ask Tusk about it, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> he hasn't fully rendered in yet. Yeah, halfway clipping through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> a 
there's kind of... I mean, I was willing to believe that these were just going to be uh, regular bandits. <clears throat> now they are bleeding from the face and have weird tattoos on them. And uh, I really just want to get go. I, I just want to go home. <laughs> I'll just want to get home. <laughs> Really, we're going to do this right now. That's Is how we're going to do this. You're going. We're going to do that. Alternate moment of privacy, Rexha. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay. I'm fine. It... No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not correct. I don't think that's the one. I'm sorry. Was this a quiz? Or I didn't know saying how I was feeling had a wrong answer. I can't, I can't, I can't tell if we're actually having this conversation <laughs> or if it's an extended bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, but we can't hear you. That's because I was muted. I was uh, muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. I fixed. I, I reset my internet again. So hopefully that fixed it. I want to say if this keeps doing it, we're probably gonna have to call it an early, super yep. early night because okay. yeah, this is annoying. Well, yeah, uh, but we will push on just a little bit longer. Give it another thirty minutes. If it doesn't, if it does it again, we'll probably call it there. But if it doesn't, we'll keep going. Brought cool. the journal yeah. out with the symbol, and I showed it to Doomka, who I believe was going to ask Tusk about it. Okay. I sure. mean, I I want to get because now all of the other people to talk to are unfortunately passed. So Tusk, his name is Tusk. Yes. Hello. You... Nice to thank you all so much for helping me. I very much appreciate it. They so mostly we didn't, did it to themselves. Yeah, we didn't intend to kill them at all. They they did this to themselves. <laughs> no, but you all saved me from them, so that, that's what I'm I, that's what I'm thanking you for, not for killing them. You said that they were trying to rob you? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Great. laughs> Why don't you I, I the... appreciate your honesty at least? Why don't you give us a step by step of what happened? Okay. I was doing some nightly hunting for some food, like I always do. I was able to uh, able to get a rabbit that was going to be good for me to, for that night. Do I you live nearby. No, I sh no no. I am actually from Port de Mali. Really, really, really far. Where I am. You, where are you all the way out here hunting? If you're from Port de well, I am. I'm on the road. I am actually heading to uh, to uh, Port Zoon, looking for work. So I was just stopping for the night, and uh, apparently these two individuals were, uh, I guess, saw my campfire and thought I was easy pickings, and they ambushed me at night when I was trying to sleep. And did they, did they say anything? Did they attempt... Did they just attack you? Well, they wanted all my money and belongings. Of course, I said no. And then they cut my bow. Like, who cuts a bow string? How did they get access to your bow? Whoops, I didn't. I, I am a very heavy sleeper, and I didn't hear them sneaking up on me. And then you just ran, and they gave chase. Well, yeah, because I, I really couldn't defend myself when I don't have my bow. If I had my bow, it was a different story. I and just you, died. You've been making this travel all on your own? You're not using yeah. the roads? You well, I mean, I am a little bit, but I mean, it's not really necessarily... Huh? Oh, uh, I'm not a... I don't want to say I'm afraid of water. <laughs> but You're I get going... a little seasick. 
You're going to a port city. <laughs> uh, that, that's I grew up in a port them. city. Um, does this symbol mean anything to you? He'll show it to him. He looks over at the symbol. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it doesn't. You could either make a insight check or a perception check. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's he's standing there. I mean, he's smiling the whole time. He looks at everybody as they're uh, speaking. Uh, I was muted while not... I was saying that. On, I muted myself on stream. Stream, I oh. was just asking if I noticed any body language of a liar, and I rolled a 15. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But no, he's he's standing there uh, looking at everybody as they, they're speaking. He's not showing any signs of your typical liar. Um, and seems like he's telling the truth when he says he doesn't know what that, that symbol is. I'm gonna kind of step back from this kid and just like gesture for everybody to come with me at least a little bit. <clears throat> Curious, um, just really quickly, you set the bodies down, right? Uh huh. Uh, did you leave the, like their gear on them? Yeah, I don't think okay. we would have taken it I off. Think we, took their, we took their money, but yeah, I mean, but everything we... else is still there. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that they were, like, stripped. So, yeah, you all walk off and have, like, a little huddle. Ordinarily, I wouldn't pay much mind to a few bandits that are jumping a young individual who can barely defend himself. The symbol and the manner of their death, however, makes me curious. Would you all prefer to just leave this alone? Or do you want to investigate further? I really want to get back home. And this kid's going... He's going to Port Zoon, right? Out of character. Yeah, he said he was heading towards Port Zoon. <sighs> if he's... Well, it, it's probably going to follow him. I'll we'll just go home. We can ask more about this symbol if we're interested in it. When we get Research. back to the... Uh, yes. As we are right now, I am unsure we, unless we went where they were coming from, uh, we don't really have anything to follow. The Our main indicator would be the symbol. Yeah. If, if we were going to investigate further, my first inclination would be to go to his camp. And then from there, I could track where they came from likely to their camp. Um, but it, I'm more than happy to just leave it be. From from when we were in that like weird temple, mm -hmm. do we ever see this symbol there, or like on the pe like on the people that were in there? Dumka no. No, you all. There was another emblem that you all have. I think one of you all actually have it still, a, like a little uh, amulet that had like a symbol Dumka? on it. Uh, uh, no, the, you, cause you went after the, if you mean the amulet. Zach went after the guy that uh, teleported went after out. the guy, so you, I if I remember that. correctly, you grabbed it and you, like, ripped it off his neck. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that, then. It's not, it's not that symbol. They don't match. No, they don't match. I mean, I think. But yeah, if you scroll up in the lore dumps, there's a, there's an emblem right, right above. Oh. It's it's the five pointed star kind of thing with. Oh yeah. right, remember now. It was like a blood, Are you, blood can ruby you hear kind us, of thing. Derek? Yep. Okay, you froze on our end. Oh, okay. I didn't <laughs> freeze on my end. Well, that's, that's fine. <laughs> well, the the problem has. I've infected you all. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I. 
I feel like this is very strange, but... I mean, surely his camp can't be that far off if they were just running. Like, it has to be close by. I don't think it could hurt to just look at the camp really quick. We're If we're this close to it, there's a chance that these people could come and try to attack us. We could, we could ask Tusk how far away his camp is. Yeah. I could also go and make it a quick trip, me and Saren, if you'd like. It is the middle of the night. Uh, hey, Ed, how far is your camp? Just like 10, 15 minutes off in that direction. If you're, if you're sprinting like I was. And as you all turn around and ask him about this, you see him holding the other bow that that other individual had. He's holding that bow now. And is putting that quiver that the individual had onto his waist. And kind of just like practicing, you know, testing the bow strength and all that kind of stuff. It's just, yeah, it's just right over there. Probably about 20 minutes before just walking. I look at Beckett. Is this kid worth it? I mean, it's purely my own curiosity. But also... We still gotta finish our nap, so if you wanna... Maybe a couple of you just go check it out. He, and he can go get his things back. And so go get his whatever's left there. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind us. And like, I know that safe, for safety's sake, it's probably better to go in a group more than just me and Saren, but I also don't mind escorting him that way. Um, I, my only concern is that a symbol like this generally means some sort of group or organization, and if there's something going on, that might be something that we as a group or organization might need to run into at some point, so having some information about it might be good. I agree. Yeah, I can agree You're not fun. I mean, there's obviously a chance when the morning comes and I've gotten my full rest, I could uh, maybe speak with the gentleman, points at the bodies, but uh, Absolutely. It's... That's an option. I still think we should go and just see what Beckett can find. The uh... sooner the better, too, because animals will ruin tracks, things like that, so. I can go with you if you if you want someone to come. You okay. Put your armor first, then. Yeah, good idea. Well, <coughs> I can't be quiet in my armor. But you can be not stabbed. I That arrow, like, grazed my shoulder. It's fine. You said your name was Tusk? Yes. What is your all's name? I don't got your names. It's not important. <laughs> no, um, okay. First I'm going to lead, we're going to lead you back to your camp so that you can grab some of your things. Um, sure, sure. And I'm going to do a bit of investigating on your attackers. Whatever y'all want. Well, I guess I'll lead the way. Uh, he's... Yo, you, you all ready? Turn around. Hold on, I, sure I have to put on this chain mail. You have to give me like 10 minutes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Everyone get your sh shit together. I'm gonna be ready really soon. <laughs> so what are you all doing out here? I mean, y'all, it seems like y'all can handle yourselves. Or you all, like... Missionaries or adventurers or something? We just like to travel. We're making our way to uh, Thaolin. Thaolin, with an F, not a TH. Oh, okay. Um, you said that you're making your way specifically to Port Zoon? Yes. I, uh, am looking, hopefully, to find some work on, like, a trade route or something. And, you know, Port Dune is a great hub for that kind of thing. You should make your way south to Faolin, then, because we are going to be trying... Well, you said you don't like to charter by ship. We are taking a ship to Port Dune. I mean, if, if you all are okay with me sticking with you, I would love... To, if you're traveling alone... Oh, no, I'm, I, I'm just... I'm I, just I wouldn't that. mind traveling with a group. It that was... is not what I was saying, sir. I was saying. Well, I, gotta, go I also got to gotta find a way to repay you all. 
it is really fine. <laughs> I, how I, I was just... how I was uh, taught is if someone does something nice for you, I have to repay them. So I will find some way to repay you all. And if you're going to Port Zoom, maybe maybe I can you know I don't know do something there for you. Okay, I've got it. It's on, I... y'all. <laughs> In turn, we don't pay him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally like we're from a merchant family in Port Zoon. We could get him a job like that, but he's yeah, also well, like, yeah. what are your skills? He's got to pay us back. Don't pay him right away. He's an intern for like two weeks. Yeah, I'm like paying intern. Not paying intern. Wow, we're paying for experience. Okay, you ready? Is yeah. your armor on? I'm armored. Okay, so uh, he starts to lead you off into the direction that he was running from originally, and right, as he said, about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast you all want to move, you all arrive at a camp that's the fire has coals still in it, and you also find a, uh, there's no tent, there is a sleeping uh, bag or bedroll on the ground, uh, and you find a uh, the body of a dead rabbit that he did say that he caught and was had for dinner. Uh, what did you all want to do while he is starting to pack up his things? I'm not touching anything. I'm standing outside of the camp, keeping watch, and I don't want to mess anything up for Beckett, so unless somebody asks okay. me to clank on over, I'm posted up watching okay. stuff. I will sure. help for like this is standing watch because I sh I'm shit at investigation so okay I, who so. who all is here is it everybody I think or I, is it because Becca was like I think it's probably better if we go in a group and Zach was like yeah that's fair so so everybody every go ahead Mika, Reksha, you all came too yeah yeah why well, split yeah. the group okay. yeah all right so I will have uh, Tremaine, since you said you were keeping an eye out, go ahead and make me a perception check. <laughs> and uh, Beckett and Zach, you said you all, Zach, you were helping Beckett? No, I'm him? helping Tremaine. <laughs> oh, you're helping Tremaine and I'm lagging again. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Okay. Uh, so you get advantage then, Tremaine. Okay. Um, I mean, because Zach could also just like, also do on his own. Because yeah, I, I already I already rolled um okay. and it's six. Okay. So like, you know, Zach could also just maybe Zach's like on the uh, sure. the other side watching. Of course, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it makes sense. So Zach go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Uh, that's fair. Um I believe that's a twenty five. Okay. Alright, so Beckett. Um, you're looking for any kind of tracks or yeah, like that, right? Is our tabaxi friend wearing boots or does he have his little toe beans out? No, he's wearing boots. Aww. Okay. Aww. Um. <laughs> toe beans. Uh, yeah, he, he, and as you all have gotten a better look at him, he is wearing studded leather armor. Uh, he does have, uh, he doesn't have any kind of like melee weapons, at least from the look of like you know obvious ones he doesn't have any melee weapons or anything like that. no short swords daggers he basically only had a bow um as he gets back to uh the camp he went around and picked up a quiver that he had that was just laying on the ground that he apparently couldn't pick up while he was you know running away uh, and he it looks like he's uh traveling very minimalistically he has a bedroll and a small backpack and then a bow and arrow basically is what he has. And like, okay. Of course, like a cantina and stuff like that, like your essentials. But yeah, I'm going. Um, to, which direction did you come from? You specifically, uh, like, what's the path you've been using to travel? Uh, well, during the days, I typically stay on the road, but at night, I go off the road a little bit, just because on the road, if you're camping on the road by yourself, you're just you know you're asking for people to yes the reason i'm asking the question is, is because i'm trying to determine which footsteps and tracks coming into your camp are yours and which might be other individuals so if you came from the north it would be nice came to know if you came from the came north from the north no uh west northwest 
northwest a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to first identify his tracks so that I know which ones are his, and then look for other ones. Sure. And it... All right, so go ahead and make a survival check to see if you can... This is just... This is going to be a little easier because you have his boot prints mm -hmm. um, to... Uh, I rolled a 12 plus 6, so 18. Yeah, so you're able to identify his boot tracks. So now uh, go ahead and make me another survival check. This is to find any other uh, tracks. 15 plus 6, so 21. I am frozen again. Uh oh. I'm back. Uh, 21. Well, what did you roll? 21. Okay. So, uh, looking through the camp, you notice that he did a lot of walking around, of course. Uh, from he, It seems like he went off into the uh, small little tree lines where the, there's some like shrubbery and stuff like that, which you can assume was probably to try and hunt for the, the rabbit that he uh, caught. Uh, you see his footprints coming back to camp. Uh and then also you see him, it, which you might assume as doing like a walk around his camp to see if anybody was, you know, before he slept. Um, however, you do notice that there are uh, two sets of footprints walking up to his camp. You follow, I found them. You follow those them. back a little bit into um, this like wooded area. And they... It starts to get very difficult to keep track of these footprints, mainly because it's dark. You're starting to get into more of like a muddy area, and it seems like a lot of the mud is has like moved and covered up some of the footprints, either by design someone was covering covering their tracks or nature did it for them. Uh, but you follow a good like minute of these tracks and then they just start to slowly vanish. Like vanish like completely or vanish like I could potentially try to find them again. You think that if you you try if you could try hard and like if you if you kept walking there's always a chance that, you know, there might be a footstep here or there that might not have been covered up or by whatever it means, but you don't know necessarily how long that would take or how far you would have to, and hopefully you're following the same trail. <clears throat> so, because they basically just completely cut off. So. Um, are, is there a tree? Is it, you said it's like in the tree line, right? Yeah. Can I use like a, my knife to make a big X in the bark of the tree so I can mark where the footsteps started or the track started to dissipate? And then I'm going to go back. T and then as I go back, I'm going to mark trees as well. Um, just so that there's like a breadcrumb trail to that area. Um, but I'm going to go back to everybody and see that what they... Enough. I am frozen. What... I'm back. I'm... Yes. Okay. I'm going to go back to everybody just to see what their opinion is. Um, I followed about a minute or two. was able to find a relatively visible tracks. I could keep going into the woods to see where if they pick up at some point, but they did start to dissipate. I marked the trees if you'd like to go and see as well. Um, if they came to to ambush him, my guess would be that if they had a camp, it would be nearby. Then that's but that's fun. if they had a camp. Let's see. I okay. Uh, I will lead everybody. Do you guys want to come with me? I can lead you all to it. I'll protect you, Beckett. Don't worry. He smiles. <laughs> um, he'll point out the marks on the trees as he goes, and I guess I'll keep going and see if I can find more. See if it picks up anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Nineteen plus six, so twenty-five. Oh, is Derek frozen? 
Oh. He's just he's just straight vibing. Yeah, he, I mean, he's like, he's literally just... Oh, now he looks a little sad. Oh. Derek. <laughs> Derek, we love you. I was frozen again. We love you. I rolled a 25. So, 25. What was it again? I'm sorry. 25. All right. So you all follow in that direction. Um, Tusk will also, as you all start walking off. Uh, okay, maybe we... Maybe... I think we're going to have to call it here. Yeah. It's annoying me. I'm yeah. frozen again. Can't hear you all. This is a very frustrating thing to happen, but hey, you know, we're about to go try to find these people's camp, so it's a good place to pause. Um... <laughs> But you know what, y'all? Check out Little Dragon Corp. Check out Cardboard Castle Games. We love them. Thanks for sponsoring us. Check out our games every night of the week. We we stream all the time. And check out our YouTube and our Twitter. Does anyone have anything else they would like to share? Uh, Did you I say got a, I got a thing. I got a thing. Yeah, what? I worked on a thing. It's coming out soon. Oh! Yeah, I th yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked oh, we, on it. We need to add this to my actual announcements. OMG. Um, um, I um worked with a very, very wonderful and diverse team. Um, we're making a supplement to go on the DMs Guild, a supplement for uh the new adventure coming out, Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Um, I believe it is slated to come out on the 21st of this month so like monday basically i think right or like it's wednesday the 15th, yeah so it's like tuesday yeah so like less than a week y'all and i um i wrote uh several adventures in this uh multiple i wrote multiple adventures in this supplement as well as um there's some really really great attractions in there um, it is called, I want to make sure that I get the official name correct. Um, I believe it is The Wild Beyond the Witchlight Attractions and Adventures. Um, really, really great team. I love, uh, I loved working on it. So it's coming out on the 21st. Um, I will, I will share, I'll, 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 I'll share more about it, uh, next time I'm on. Uh, yeah, I just got it. Okay. Well, with that, um, when you're trying to jump through a fire after pouring water on yourself to, like, maybe survive, um, and you feel your flesh burning away, don't forget to add your proficiency. Hey. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Bye, y'all.